spot or defense we hope to see at the Brick House this fall. Hello Spider fans everywhere and college football fans across America and around the world. It's Satchmo with the Spider Gang. Glad to be back for the 2021 fall full season with the Richmond Spiders football team. Don't look now uh, fans but in a couple of weeks preseason camp will begin and hopefully we're looking at a full non-COVID disrupted spider football season. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to the fellowship and competition on the field at the Brick House. This season the spiders will be playing an 11 game schedule. Six of the games will be at home. We've got three non-conference games highlighted by Virginia Tech on the road in Blacksburg. The six home games will feature JMU, Delaware, and Elon. On the road, we face perennial CAA powers, Villanova, and New Hampshire. It should be a season made for Spider fans. Coach Russ Huseman will be leading the Spiders for his fourth full season with a complement of four new assistant coaches. With a record since 2017 of 18 and 20 overall and 13 and 15 in the CAA, Coach Huseman and the team will be looking for that breakthrough season. And I think there's reason to be optimistic, at least cautiously optimistic, that we'll be better this year and that we'll compete again for a possible CAA championship. Spiders will field an experienced team. On the offensive side of the ball, virtually all of our skilled position players in offensive line two deeps return. With the spring season under their belts, where we went three and one and got a little bit of revenge against uh, Elon and William and Murray, who had beaten us in the 2019 season, the team should be confident. You look at the uh, statistics from the CAA season, you'll see that the Spiders on the offensive side of the ball were right outside of the premier offensive teams in the league. If we can step up, we're going to be an effective offensive machine. On the defensive side of the ball, it looks similar. Lots of experience. Lots of guys who got a taste of winning during the 2019 season when we beat three teams in the top uh, 20. And during the spring season where our defense came up big time after time. Our front seven on defense may be as good as anybody's in the CAA. Specialty teams look solid as well, and the whole group has been supplemented by some promising transfers. So, Spider fans, I think there's reason for optimism. I'd be disappointed as we go through the minefield of the CAA if we can't garner five wins at a minimum to get ourselves back into the picture for the CAA championship in an FCS playoff bid. With no uh, playoff appearances or championships since 2016, it's been a long time and we need to bring that excitement back to the Brick House. I think we can. <laughs> This episode kicks off the 13th season of the Spider Game, and it's great uh, to be back for hopefully a full in-person season. We'll start it off with the opponent's countdown. 
in the next uh, week or so, you'll begin to see a highlight episode for each team the Spiders will face during this 2021 season. We'll give you a little bit about each opponent, about our, the, the opponent's history, and as much about the opponent's expectations as we can find. So there's a lot to look forward to as we start this long season with high hopes. That's all for the intro. Let's get the countdown rolling. Go Spiders! So long for now.